Hello, welcome to the Monday, August 2nd, 2021 edition of the Sands and Storm Center's Stormcast. My name is Johannes Ulrich, and today I'm recording from Jacksonville, Florida. About to travel, so recording this a little bit uh, early, and remember that uh, we have the contest going. So uh, before I announce any of my August uh, locations, you may want to get your entry in. Xavier ran into some interesting malware that actually used a registry file in order to trick the user into executing the malware. Registry files themselves, of course, are not executable, really, but uh, what they can do is they can modify registry keys, including, like in this example, the run once key that will then execute the actual code. In this case, it's a PowerShell script that will download and execute additional malware. Also sort of interesting here, the actual malware is hosted on the Discord uh, CDN. Uh, Discord, of course, is yet another uh, chat application. And all of these applications, of course, have some kind of file storage. And that's what's being abused here. Now, why don't we see more uh, malware that takes advantage of this trick? After all, .rec files are not often flagged as uh, malicious. Well, if you click on it, uh, you will get a fairly prominent warning that what you're going to do is you're going to change the registry and uh, basically you're asked to confirm that that's what you actually want to do. So uh, that may scare users sufficiently to not necessarily allow it. And we've got some interesting details from James Forshaw at uh, Google regarding a uh, vulnerability that affected uh, Windows systems that had Exchange installed. These issues were fixed with the July update, but there are some interesting details here that you should be aware of. So first of all, the main problem here is when you installed Exchange on a system, Exchange uh, did modify the Active Directory schema with a ton of additional classes, which essentially allowed any user to create accounts and more essentially compromising the domain. So the vulnerability was patched. The reason I want to mention it is that these changes to the Active Directory schema, they're not undone if you're uninstalling Exchange. So if you installed Exchange on a system, maybe experimented with it, then later you removed Exchange again, that's exactly when you may have problems. You may not consider that patch is really important, uh, but uh, definitely make sure that all systems are fixed, not just the ones that currently run Exchange. And Node.js in its July security releases uh, did fix a use after free vulnerability that uh, could lead uh, to code execution. The particular vulnerability affects HTTP2 and uh, this particular uh, patch was released without any sort of prior notice because apparently details about the vulnerability have already been leaked. Researchers at JFrog did find a number of malicious PyPy packages. Well, nothing really all that new here. A new focus a little bit on Discord tokens, but the code, if included in your projects, will not just steal Discord authentication tokens. It will also try to exfiltrate credit card numbers and other credentials. Apparently, uh, the affected packages were downloaded about 30,000 uh, times, so not super popular, but certainly uh, noteworthy. And as usual, uh, be aware, double check what you're downloading. These were not that easy to spot necessarily. Uh, the malicious code here was uh, obfuscated. If anything, the base64 strings, basically the obfuscation is uh, probably one thing uh, to uh, log out for. And our evil as well as uh, dark side, uh, two ransomware families uh, that have caused quite a bit of uh, blur uh, these uh, last few months and of course uh, have themselves uh, discontinued. Well, they may be back now as black matter. 
of course, never really clear uh, with these kind of organizations if uh, just someone bought some of their code or if it's actually some of the individuals involved in the original uh, efforts. But apparently, at least uh, some of the encryption methods and such being used are similar uh, to uh, this uh, precursor. But just to let you know that, well, uh, these ransomware groups never sort of really uh, go away. And well, that's it for today. Thanks again for listening and talk to you again tomorrow. Bye.